I was very impressed with the reception that you all gave us on our SBGA 465 video. So I figured that we would continue the series, but with a piece that has a dial that although looks simple, is actually the most difficult dial to create from Grand Seiko. They call this the Silken Sunray Dial, or as you may know it, the Champagne Dial. And to create this dial, it has to undergo a polishing, then a mirror polishing, a silver plating, a sunray brushing, and then a gold plating to achieve its dynamic silver to gold look. The question here is, do you think that all of this work was worth it to create this dial? And if so, is the SBGA 437 the best package to deliver this piece of art to you? Let's go ahead and find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you awesome watch content at least once a week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, we reviewed the Bremont WR22 Williams Racing Watch. And if you haven't watched this, I really recommend taking the six minutes and watching this to give Bremont a simple peek and see for yourself what they have to offer. Wrist check time, today I'm wearing my Grand Seiko Snowflake, which many people believe has the most difficult dial to create on it. But surprisingly, today's piece is actually a more difficult dial to make. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Grand Seiko SBGA 437 has a 39.5 millimeter case width, a 12.5 millimeter thickness, a 46.3 millimeter lug to lug, a 19.8 millimeter lug width, a 32.7 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 154.99 grams. The case is a slightly smaller by one millimeter version of the Snowflake case and is in stainless steel. It has a matte finish on the top of the lugs with a facet of Zeratsu finish on the outer lug with more Zeratsu finish on the sides of the case. The bezel is Zeratsu finished and the sapphire crystal is slightly domed. The crown can be found at the three position and is screwed down with GS on the top. The dial is a silver tone or gold tone depending on the light that you put it under. It has a sunray texture that is supposed to remind you of fine silk that used to be created in the Shinshu region where Grand Seiko is made. The markers are rectangular and are in high polish with double markers at the 12, 9, and 6 positions. The minute grade can be found between each marker with ticks in black. The GS logo can be found at the top middle portion in silver tone with a black Grand Seiko beneath it. The hour and minute hands are Dauphine style and are in silver tone with a silver toned simple pointed second hand the date window can be found at the three position and has a silver frame with a white background and black numerals. The power reserve indicator can be found at the bottom left position and has three separate grades that each represent one day of power and you have a silver hand. Spring drive can be found at the bottom middle portion in black. No loom can be found on this piece as usual for Grand Seiko. The case back is closed and has the Lion logo in the center. The movement is the 9R65 spring drive movement, which has an accuracy of losing or gaining 15 seconds per month, which is about a half second per day, and has a 72 hour power reserve. The second hand also glides effortlessly over the dial without any ticks, due to the electromagnetic braking system regulating the timing. The steel bracelet is a completely matte finished three link design and has a GS logo on the clasp, which is a folding clasp with no micro adjust but two half links are on the bracelet for that fine adjustment. The SPGA 437 is 100 meter water resistant, is part of Grand Seiko's heritage collection, and can be yours for $4,800. Now for my personal opinion. Let's get this out of the way. The fact is that as I expected, it wears great on my six and a half inch wrist and is very comfortable. I find the champagne dial to be a very mature and sophisticated look. I'm sure that my wife would find this one boring, but it really is very handsome. If you just walked into a store, you would first have to know about all of the hard work that's put into making this dial and to look at this in many different lightings just to see how it changes color to get that effect. Otherwise, I'm sure that once you have this on your wrist and you're out in the real world, you'll see all sorts of beauty with the different sunray bursts of silver and gold and subtle texture. Mainly though, the SBGA 437 is a great way 
to get this dial without breaking the bank and you get a great case size and spring drive movement as well. I'll recommend this piece to anyone who is looking for a clean, mature, and sophisticated timepiece and is interested in a spring drive movement or perhaps their first Grand Seiko model. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share it with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.